to make the model you need to add a circle and we will go with the 64 words so add the circle just go a little bit back so you can see that circle and then you need to go to the edit mode after that you need to select all words and use the chicka deselect so select and then chicka deselect and then you need to scale this word along the x and y axis so scale it down like this after that you need to press ctrl i to invert that selection so you can select those outer words and then ctrl b and add a bevel at there so ctrl b and then v to add the bevel add one segment bevel at there and give the proper width for the bevel after that you need to select this invert words so just select these words with the cross selection just adjust the scale and scale it down along the x and y axis and then you need to press ctrl b and then v to add the bevel at there here you need to add the two segment bevel and give the proper width for the bevel so you will get that curved shape at there after that you need to select everything and then press f to fill the gap then select everything mesh and then summit rights take the symmetry along the x and y axis so you will get the same design then select everything, press I for the insert operation to add one loop at there. Now we need to create the right topology on the model so we can maintain the good form. So that's why you need to select these words, right click and then connect vertex path and create the right topology at there. After that you need to add the loop cuts like this on the teeth of that gear. So add the loop cuts like this in the outward direction. And then you need to add the loop cuts like this on the teeth of that gear. Okay. You need to add the loop cuts and try to give the same factor for all the loop cuts. So you will get more decent form. After adding the loop cut you need to press I for the insert operation. And now we need to create the right loop structure at there. So that's why we need to merge the words to create that loop structure and to create the chord based topology. Then you can select these edges and dissolve them. So select the words, press M to merge them at the center. And after that, you need to dissolve the unnecessary edges, which creates the triangle at there. So first, merge the words like this. After merging the words, you can select the edges. So Alt Select, Alt Shift Select. And then you can press Ctrl X to dissolve them. So you will get the right loop structure at there. Then you need to take the symmetry. So just take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. You can work with the mirror tool also, but I would like to work with the symmetry. And now you need to use the knife tool to create that loop. So just create the loop at there and here also with the help of knife tool. After that you need to select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation. And then use insert operation one more time. And then you can use the loop tool and create a circle at there. Then you can add the subduing surface modifier. So add that subd modifier and select everything and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. After that you need to select this outer face loop and then press I for the insert operation. And then you can add the more loop cuts on the model like this one from the top one from the bottom and shear smooth it and now that's look good now we need to add more details on it so just go to the edit mode select these faces and just create a little bit of details and there after that you need to add a few loop cuts like this and select the faces like this with the cross selection and make sure you select the faces along the x-axis and y-axis also 
and make sure the face count should be same. So just calculate the faces and select them and then press I for the insert operation and then use the loop tool to create the circle. Then select these circles and then press I for the insert operation and then delete these faces. Then select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. So you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis. To take the symmetry along the z axis, you need to set the origin to the 3D cursor and then take the symmetry along the z, z axis. These all these extra edge loops which creates with the symmetry. So just adjust the position of the words here along the z-axis with the help of x-ray mode. After that you need to select the edge loop of that circles to fill the gap. So select this edge loop with the shift select and then right click and then breach edge loop. So we can fill the gap. After that just select this face loop with the shift alt select and then press I for the insert operation. And just add necessary loop cuts on the model to maintain its form. After that you can see there is a little bit of imperfection at the top surface. So we need to make it flat along the z axis. So we can use the scale tool add there. So just turn on your x mode, select these top words. And then you need to press S, Z and give the value 0 and scale it along the z-axis to make it flat. And then you can take the symmetry along the z-axis. Now just select these face loops and then increase that selection and you can scale it along the x and y axis. So S shift Z to scale it along the x and y axis. So you can see here I have created the little bit of details with the help of insert operation and extrude operation. So in this way you can create the details like this. Then take the symmetry along the x and y axis. And then you can scale it along the z axis like this. I want to add more details here so just select these faces press I for the insert operation and just create a little bit of more details. Then take the symmetry along the z axis and then you need to fill the gap with the breach edge loop. And you can see that gap is little bit small. Then you can scale it along the z axis and add in the loop cuts on the model. Now I want to create the small holes at there on this gear. So that's why I need to add the loop cuts. And then we need to select the four four faces. So we can use the loop tool at there. So select these faces and make sure you select the faces in a proper number and at the right position. So we can take the symmetry. And then use the insert operation and extrude operation to extrude inside after using the loop tool. 
and then you need to take the symmetry along the x and y axis and then take the symmetry along the z axis and you can see that's look good so now here i want to create the details from the outer border so select this edge loop and you can use the double tap g for the edge slide and then use the loop tool to make a circle after that you need to select the faces so you need to select the faces like this so shift d to duplicate it and make a backup and then you can select the faces like this After selecting the faces, you need to increase that selection and press I for the insert operation and extrude inside like this. So you can create this border details. And then you can adjust the scale here after using the insert operation. So adjust the scale like this. Just deselect this face loop and then adjust the scale. And now you need to add more loop cuts on the model to make those harder edges which will look decent. So you can see now it's look good. Then you can take the symmetry along the z axis. Just select everything and then recalculate the normal for the right face orientation. And make sure you have the right face orientation for the game engine and for good shading. And you can see from the matcap view, it's look decent. So in this way, you can create this kind of gear models. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video, take care.